Delay Hemorrhagic Transfusion Reaction After learning, students should be able to Understand the pathophysiology of the reactions Explain causes and effects of the events Select an appropriate laboratory investigations to help the diagnosis and monitoring of medical treatments and the most important thing is to manage and select the best blood components for patients to prevent the reaction that may occur again. Transfusion reactions can be classified into two main groups, acute and delay, depending on the onset of the reaction. Both groups are also divided into immune and non-immune mediated based on causes. Immune-mediated reaction means that patients produce oral antibodies specific to red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, or plasma, while the non-immune-mediated reactions are caused by other factors. Delay hemorrhagic transfusion reaction is classified as immune-mediated delay reaction, resulting from oral antibodies specific to red blood cell antigens following transfusions. After transfusions, pregnancies, or transplantation, patients may produce oral antibodies specific to red blood cell antigens that he or she lacks. The antibodies may cause delayed transfusion reaction if patients again receive a unit of red blood cells expressing the corresponding antigens. Primary oral immunization occurs any time from days to months after transfusion of antigen-positive red blood cells, depending on immunogenicity and dose of antigens. About 1 to 1.6 percent of red blood cells transfusions are associated with antibody formation to antigens of some blood group system, including Kitts, Duffy, Kel, MNS, and E antigen of RH system, excluding antigen D because Rh-negative blood will be selected for Rh-negative patients. The HTR and the STR rarely occur as a result of primary immunization but generally associated with subsequent transfusion. Detection of oral antibodies in patient serum may be fair because first, Antibody titers may slowly decrease after initial immune response. This phenomenon is termed evanescence or disappear. Second, approximately 30 to 60 percent of oral antibodies become undetectable over months to years. The most impressive antibody that often induces the HTR is antibody to kit blood group antigen and is known as the kit's behavior. When antigen-positive blood is transfused, an amnestic response is triggered with production of antibody occurring the next several days to weeks after transfusion. Rapidity of antibody production together with hemorrhagic potential of antibody are key factors in French clinical presentations. But group antibodies associated with the HTR or the STR includes antibody to kit, Duffy, Kerr, and MNS system. Producing of oral antibody following transfusions can result into different patterns of reaction, including symptomatic delay hemorrhagic transfusion reaction or the HTR and Asymptomatic Delay Serologic Transfusion Reaction or the STR. Size and symptoms of the HTR occur in days to weeks after red blood cells transfusion, resulting from extravascular hemorrhoids, including fever and anemia. No expected increase in hemoglobin level after transfusion. Some patients present jaundice and leukocytosis and hemorrhoids can occur without other clinical symptoms in some cases. Hemoglobinuria may be foul but rare, and there is no acute renal failure or DIC in the HTR. 
The STR is only the finding of oral antibodies with outsides and symptoms of hemorrhoids. Laboratory investigation to confirm the STR or the STR includes antibody screening and identification, and in case of low titer antibody, enhancement techniques may be required. Direct anticoagulin test which should be positive if donor red blood cells are still remaining in the patient blood circulation. Illusion is suggested to perform on the AT positive red blood cells to identify the oral antibodies. And if segment from unit is available, antigen typing may help to confirm the diagnosis. Some laboratory investigations should be performed to rule out all the causes of fever and hemorrhoids. Fever with hemorrhoids following transfusion may be from contamination of intracellular red blood cell parasites such as malaria or babesia, which is the tick-borne disease. Fever without hemorrhoids may be an indication of graft versus host disease or the HVHD or transfusion transmitted viral disease such as cytomegalovirus. In addition, hemorrhoids resulting from passive antibody-producing lymphocytes may be found after transplantation of a minor ABO-incompatible organ, such as transplantation of group O liver to group A patients. Treatment of the STR is mainly to monitor patients and provide supportive care. And in case of anemia, antigen negative red blood cells is needed. Three steps to prevent the STR and the STR includes screen and identify the implicated oral antibodies and make a record. Provide antigen negative blood in case of red blood cells needed. And once compatible match is done, type of unit to ensure antigen negative before issuing.